Hey, this is Natalie Grant, and you're listening to Dispatch Radio. Okay, folks, we have a great guest with us. You uh, know tons of her music. She was a 2010 and 11 Female Vocalist of the Year Dove Award winner. She was the 2011 Dove Award Artist of the Year. We've even played a couple of her songs, I think, as bumper music on our show. I asked the staff to look at that, and they couldn't really quite tell me for sure, but I know we've played This Is The Stuff. So welcome, Francesca Battistelli. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? Oh, we're excited. We get a chance to see you uh, in a few weeks. I can't believe it's already going to be January. You're going to be on the road again with Winter Jam. That's got to be an exciting time. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you were on the Winter Jam before, so give everybody a little idea uh, for you how this is a different experience and obviously the different tours that you've been on and your different uh, performances that you've been able to do. Well, you know, Winter Jam is unique. It's um, the only tour that has that many artists. You know, there's 10 artists, and so there's such a great community backstage of, of people to um, to hang out with and, and, you know, just get to know, which is awesome. And really, I think the ministry time that, that Winter Jam focuses on is is so powerful and, um, and also unique to the tour. So I love the tour and, and I'm honored to be part of it again. Obviously, the one thing that that Winter Jam has is you know you've got a you know a raucous you know twenty thousand people arenas and all of that. How do you approach your set differently to prepare for something like this compared to you know when you're doing your own show? Yeah, well, you definitely have to keep in mind that there's going to be a lot of people there who aren't there for you or don't know who you are. Whereas a typical for any concert, you know, it's ninety minutes and it's all people who came for me. Um, so there's got to be some like, more excitement and. Um, you also just have to try to cram a lot into a short a short set. So um, thankfully, we've got it all figured out. We did the West Coast Winter Jam um, in November, and so I think we've got a pretty good idea of what we're going to do on the East Coast. And yeah, just looking forward to it. It's a very exciting time. And uh, the last thing on Winter Jam I always love asking about is, um, you know, we've talked about it several times on this show, and that is uh, Jam Church. It gives you guys a chance to not only, uh, you know, stay connected to God and worship time, but it's such a unique thing to be able to change up leading worship and those kinds of things. Could you speak to that experience and what it's meant to you? Absolutely. You know, it really is special. I think people forget that artists, you know, we tour, most of us, on Sundays, and so we don't get to be home and, and have that community um, of worship and even for us, we stay connected with our church by watching podcasts. But it's not the same as sitting in a room and, and really going after the presence of God together. So it is. It's really special, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Is, is it more relaxing and, and freeing to be in a room where you know you're in with with people that are in the same business that you are? You know, you know, Cooper Cooper can't exactly roll into a church without you know skillet fans. You know saying you know i mean so you can't be anonymous so i don't think you know i don't think right. franny franny can just roll up in a church and just blend in so is it somewhat refreshing and freeing to know that you're just with folks where you're not like the big celebrity in the room <laughs> i don't know if i'm ever the big celebrity in the room but yeah, uh, well i'm calling you out that's what i'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it is wonderful and everybody's in their pjs and it's just you know it's no fluff which i love that so oh man that's a that's a twitter photo that needs to be taken by the way <laughs> <laughs> for any worship in her, in her PJs. That's great. Um, all right, so we got the newer the newer album, you know, if we're honest, and you know, you're putting that together. You've actually, you know, you've kind of got your wheels going now. You kind of know what you're doing. You've you've had some, already some great success and that kind of thing. So how do you? Um, how, what was your approach when you kind of started piecing this together? For the for, for the, album. the album, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I really just wanted to this is the first album I've written with kids the mm -hmm. last one I wrote we were pregnant with our first and so um there's just a part of you and your mom that I don't know there's less feeling like you have to be cool and so I just wanted to write honest songs that came from my heart and I've always written from my heart and autobiographically but um I don't know there's just less pressure on me for some reason that I was maybe imposing on myself the last couple of times and <laughs> Um, so I just I just wrote songs about real life and um I think this is the best record yet. It's my favorite and um really has that theme of, of going deeper and being honest and um and authentic and so um I'm excited about it. You mentioned your kids and how has that changed, let's say, your perspective on writing? How does that really changing, you know, how you look at things a little bit differently? 
I mean, I think having kids changes everything. And so even without realizing it, 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 it does change your writing. But, um, you know, when I'm in the, I'm in the studio, I'm sometimes I'm, I'm writing specifically for them or with them in mind, but sometimes I'm just writing about, um, someone else's life or something that has happened to someone I know. And so, um, I, I think kids are like, it's like having a, it's like being a believer. Your God is always in your, in your thoughts. And so my kids are always in my thoughts. So whether I'm even consciously writing about them, they're, they're there, you know, um, and that's a special thing. Talking to Francesca Battistelli, we're talking about Winter Jam, jamtour.com, folks. You can get your tickets, find out where the show is near you. If you're listening to us live in the Tampa Bay area, that's January the 10th. There's a show the day before up in Jacksonville, but, of course, all over the east side of the United States. If you're listening online, especially the big metropolitan areas, there's probably a show within driving distance. So make sure you check that out. Tons of great acts. Obviously, we've uh, talked to Skillet and Jeremy Camp and uh, uh, Building 429 and Family Force 5 and Blanca and Viridia. And we just keep going on and on. Just an amazing night. It's going to be an amazing show. You want to make sure you're part of it. And can you believe that you, you know, you've been doing this for a couple of days? I mean, you've been doing this a little bit longer than I even realized. <laughs> Wow, that's for sure. You were on like the 2009 Winter Jam. I didn't realize it had been that long. I'm like, oh my gosh. It has. You're like a veteran. Yeah. You're like the old veteran now. You're like, all right, I'll show you how this is done. There you go. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that, is that a little bit of how it goes when you when you when you, when you first come together and you have like the newer artists, like like a Viridia, for instance. They come together and they're kind of like their eyes are a little wide. You kind of go over, give them a little advice, a little 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 you know, a little hug to go. It's going to be all right when there's 20,000 people screaming down at you. Totally, totally. I mean, I remember that first one, and it was a little bit terrifying, but <laughs> you get the hang of it really quick, and they'll be all pros by the time the tour's over, so I love it. Well, a lot of them have been on the West Coast uh, version of this, as she mentioned, and uh, it's going to be at a great night and a great event. Uh, great music. Check out her album, If We're Honest. Uh, you can get that, as well as her Christmas album. I'm a big fan of your 2012 Christmas album, by the way. Thank you. You uh, you, you like to write Christmas songs? I do. It's fun. It's yeah, we need we need more of that. Scary, Tell your people yeah. we need more of that. Even if it's just a couple of little singles and EPs, whatever, we'll we'll, we'll buy those. We're fine with that. Just All right. Keep All them coming. Right. Keep them coming. I'm, I'm down with that. It really is. Like, there's something refreshing about being able to, you know, cause, you know, we don't write a lot of Easter songs exactly, but Christmas right. Christmas is a great way of kind of you know really really connecting and celebrating with. Uh, you know, Jesus is coming and all that. Is that, is that, is that kind of what happens in your mind as you're piecing it together? It's like, wow, this is something really special because of what it's time to. Absolutely. I mean, it's huge and it's a responsibility. I, I remember writing and it's like, how do you compete with these, you know, classics and these songs that are just so beautiful, but it's fun. It's a good challenge and you're right. We need more of it. So keep doing it. <laughs> is, there, is there one you didn't get get on the album that you're still like, I, I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get my version of this somehow. Oh, somewhere. yeah. There were so many because there's only so many you can choose. But I want to do Oh Holy Night someday. Oh, okay. And um, there's more. There's always more. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I would, you know, it's, 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 uh, a great chance to finally get a chance to speak with you and uh, talk to you. I, I got a whole house full of fans. I got to tell you, I got two. Oh. I have I have three girls, so I've been listening to you That's since awesome. the very beginning, way back, and uh, it's been an exciting ride. And um, wife's a big fan, does teen teen ministry, so uh, Franny's being played oh. a lot in my house and in our lives. And we can't wait to get a chance to see you live. And uh, look, awesome. looking forward to it. God bless you. Oh, well, thank you. Say hi to your family, and hopefully we'll get to hang out some of these days.